over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Secure the Golden Root before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. The Tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lysatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, you? my lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. We will, if they do their work. Did they find a place to set up a camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Please order our subjects to move. We should follow our scouts' footsteps. We are not safe here. the bodies of our scouts. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us.
Someone has harmed our brother. reached the pond our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. We have access to water, reeds, and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. Palisade will keep us safe. Now, we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. <sighs> a lumber mill does sound useful. Fine then, but be quick about it, Stuart.
I suppose you people are used to starvation, but I am not. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Sire, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. Sire, thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. Huh. Insubordinates like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. My lord, we don't have wine here, but we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Mead, you say? Mm, that doesn't sound too bad. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the palisade, but I would recommend to build both a meadery and scout's tower. Yes, yes. But let's start with the meadery, shall we? Our sister has been idle for some time now.
right, old man. I know that hygiene isn't your best suit, but don't your people ever wash? Stuart and I could use a bath. Uh, yes, of, of course, my lord. Our balia is constructed in a way not only to provide hot water, but also make the best use of our healing herbs to regenerate people's health. Huh? Heard that sh- One of our people came across some familiar tracks. We should search this area of the forest. Maybe, with Dabo's help, we'll find the scout who fled from the wolves. Our brothers are enjoying their quality of life. Our sister's hands are idle. Bring on about. I can't understand a word. He claims he was attacked by the wild folk. People of the forest. But they have never attacked us before. Unless they were provoked. Clearly they had a change of heart. He says they're walking towards the Votenga River. West of here. I fear that they may raid our gourd. Uh, our cartographer was supposed to be west of here as well. We cannot lose him! Let's move! No. The wild folk used to live like wild animals. And although they can be violent, conquest was one of the many human things they despise. Nonetheless, they became more aggressive recently, and attacked the tribe at the Dawn's Gourd. I wonder if they are doing this to praise Velus. Bye. 
my lords! The wild folk! They've attacked our gourd! Hurry now, or there will be nothing left of our home! We're under attack! dared to destroy our king's property? Sire, this is unusual. The wild folk are not our allies, but they were never desperate enough to raid a fortified gourd. That doesn't matter, you old fool. They will pay for their insolence. Of course, sire. But now we need to focus on salvaging whatever's left of our structures. We can repair the damage and clean up the rubble and reuse whatever we can. We should equip our subjects with proper weapons to better prepare for what awaits us outside of our walls. Let us build our first military structure. for the cartographer. He was supposed to lay out the best route for the gold transportation, especially across that damn river. My people have seen this Calanthian a couple of times. Supposedly, he has surrounded himself with traps. Be cautious when you approach his hut. Our sister was wounded by a foe. Our sister is being attacked. Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh. Keep your people in line. Why did he flee? The poor soul already suffered so much. Seeing a body mutilated in such a vicious manner, you would think that living here made us indifferent to such views. But it always takes a toll. Your barbarian minds are weak. And this corpse belongs to yet another of your scouts? N no. Sire. Judging from the robe, I believe this is the cartographer you were searching for. Cursed lands! Ah! Forget him! We need his maps! Search the hut! Search this cage! Search everything! Sire, we have found the cartographer's notes in his hut. Does it say where to cross the river? I believe it does, my lord. But the marked route requires crossing the nearby swamps. It's a very difficult and dangerous area. You dare to question the expertise of a royal cartographer? Follow the plan, steward. We've wasted enough time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. has been injured. This 
one is mine. We'll get you for this! You saved me. Those savages got what they deserved. They attacked our gourd and killed our people. But you, you are not from around here. I am not. I've been a traveler since my village got destroyed. People call me Lynx. I am Edwin, an admissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It seems we share common enemies. What was that... thing you just did to these savages? Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? And who are you, old man? I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Dabo. Dabo? The defeated god of the sun- Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough to recognize forbidden magic when I see it. Helping you is a mistake. Hold on, old man. Undeniably, our new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we ju- I wouldn't mind a hot bath. But, sir, you yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive, couldn't we? Uh, yes, sire. Very well, then. Let us carry on through those swamps and across the river. There is supposed to be a very nice settlement there. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. We're following the map drawn by the royal cartographer. What? Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drained my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. And believe me, you will find my powers useful in those swamps ahead. <clears throat> yes. I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our subjects, is of utmost importance. Let's build this temple of yours first. No one is to enter the swamps before that. Uh, may the gods protect us. I can take care of that, Elder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our brother was wounded by a foe. Sire, I'm glad that we found time to praise the true gods, but we need to proceed with our plan. The emissary is getting very anxious about it. Our sister needs a task.
Gorgord is developing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's ahead of us? A river crossing? Yes. Which is also a horror's lair. It's known as Arduin. And it won't let you pass without a sacrifice. Sacrifice? We will wipe this monster from the face of the earth! Killing a horror is not an easy task, sire. No one has attempted such a feat in years. It's much more than a monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Velus could stitch together in the Underworld. My magic has no effect on it. If you don't want to die, just comply with whatever it asks you. Or try a different path. I don't want to hear about a different route. We'll follow the plan and give this creature whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. It's the steward's decision. Dear gods. Who could have done this? Uh, so many lives lost. 
What is that? Help me. Get ready to fight. I don't understand it either, but we should leave immediately. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully.